Hello and welcome to Opus Magnum, the brand new game by Zaktronic, same people that made Infinite Factory, Shenzhen IO, uh, Space Chem, or I think that's what it's called, TIS 100, all these fun puzzle games. They have a brand new one, just came out literally a minute ago. I've got it downloaded, I went into the settings, changed the resolution, and now we are good to go. It is early access, so maybe we'll run into some problems here and there but hopefully not and I don't know what all this is I can click on that okay so wait on that until we do a couple of the first puzzles okay so this is going to be like the level system right now we're at the university and then we'll have tier one two three four five alright so let's do some of this action Access is restricted to graduate level alchemical engineer students and faculty only. Any exceptions must be approved by the chancellor. Keep your student alchemist permit and sigil with you at all time. While you're in the lab, new for a drink is permitted. Do not sit or lead on transmutation, <laughs> transmutation engines or their related components. Please keep this area clean for everyone else. That means you, Anatius. All right, so I think we'll pro uh, depending you know how easy these are, how quick I can go through them. Uh, this first episode may just be the whole prologue. We will see. We'll see how those go. But let's see. I'm amazed you put off learning how to use the transportation engine this long. I was con concentrating on working by hand. You know that. Atius, <laughs> we are about to graduate. I know. That's why I need you to summarize all of this for me as fast as you can. Okay, so, and... Open. Okay, there we go. There we go. Alright, so these are regions. They're input materials for doing alchemy. This is a product. Your job as an alchemist is to build machines that combine regions into useful projects. Okay, cool. This is an instruction say. Please so build all products. Press the play button below to start the engine. Okay, I got that. So, how do I clear the things? I wanna. Okay, so I didn't actually get to do anything that time. I just got to watch and see how it works. All right, that's fine. I, I don't. The only thing I don't really quite see right now is how this triangle piece turned into that circular piece. I'm not quite sure how that occurs and if I can control that. But obviously, being brand new to it, I wouldn't understand everything immediately. Understand so far? Of course, I knew this part was easy, that's why I never worried about it. I count you as a friend, Anatius. But sometimes you carry your genius alchemist act a little too far. Act? Alright, so that's done. So let's take the first most important part, the arm. I understand. What's next? Wait, don't rush ahead. Let me go through the material. You need to see this. Okay, I suppose I will. Place an arm below. Setting the rotation and length so that the gripper is over the region, then add instructions to the instruction play to, to make it pick up the region and move it to the product output. So I want an arm. Okay, so that's the instructions. This is the arm itself. How did I? There we go. Oop, 
Forgot to add the instructions. Okay, so. I feel like we're gonna need to grab it. We grab it, we turn twice. Or do we turn more than that? Do we turn? Well, let's find out. Let's find out. And then we'll drop it and go back. Like that's that's the idea. Okay. See, so yeah, yeah, that's not far enough. So let's see. Is it a quarter turn or or a third of a turn? Like, what is the? grabs and then it moves two spaces so I guess we're gonna say that it's a third of a turn I, I, I honestly wish it were this is one move this is two or you know there is an instruction for a double move you know I, that's what I wish was the case here but sorry it's one of these things, you know, once you see how it works, then it's not a problem anymore. And there you go. Easy enough. Right, so arms pick up and move out amount of proxies around the surface of the transmutation engine, right, and you control their behavior with instructions just of course, of course. Alright. Lesson pivots. In some cases, you'll want an arm to rotate to rotate what it is gripping. You mean as opposed to the arm itself rotating? That's right. In those cases, you'll use pivot instructions. Okay, so place an arm below, and then add instructions to make to pick up the region and move it to the product output. Okay, I mean, yeah, I can do that, but why? Oh, what was that? Okay, so... Okay, so we're going to want to grab it. And yeah, I do see that there are hotkeys here. Turn it. Double pivot? Let's see what that does. Grab, turn it. Okay, not double pivot, just a single pivot. And the opposite direction as well. Pivot, and then release it. And then return back. So grab, swing, pivot, release, return. Perfect. Done. All right. All very straightforward and simple. How nice that this is so easy for you. Why, how long did it take you to learn all this? Well, let's just keep going. Yeah, so we're probably just going to do the whole uh, prologue in this single episode we're already down three and we are nine minutes in so i don't see any reason this is going to take too long a piston arm is a special kind of arm that can extend and retract and presumably there are instructions to control the piston that's right i will demonstrate all right piston arm below obviously we want it to face this way and let's have it be that long. Beautiful. So now we're going to grab, rotate twice, and then probably That look, yeah, but that's extend, so probably not what we want. Yeah, that's not what we want. Okay, so let me have this arm and let me. And 
me spin this all back, but let me extend first. And then reset, so it descend, spins. Hmm. Oh, I see. It extends and then you get access to... Or I just didn't see that. Yeah, I, I didn't see the retraction down here for some reason. I guess I was expecting them to be side by side. Uh, that, that was my own fault. So grab, turn twice, retract, and then reset yourself. Alright, that's done now. I just I just didn't see that command for some reason. Like I assumed it would be there, but didn't see it, so. Confused myself a little bit more than I needed to. What do we got? I see. Piston arms can reach areas you can't with a normal arm. That's what makes them so useful. They cost a little more than regular arms, though. And I can use the reset insertion to make an arm return to initial state from wherever it is. That is convenient. Just remember, the reset instruction takes the same amount of time it would take those is to issue those individual instructions. Well, yes, of course it will. Of course. Okay. So instead of just putting the reverse in, I can just put that one command in and save myself some trouble. Next we have tracks. Would you like paths you can place on the board? It's easier to show you. Okay. Create a track. A track between the regent and the product. Then place an arm on the track and an instruction to make it pick up the regent and move it to the product output. So it sounds like we want. Okay, I can only have one single track. Wait, do I do I actually need the plus button here? Like, how do I? Oh, there we go. There, that's what we wanted to do. All right, I couldn't quite see what it was asking me to do there. All right, and then we will rotate it. There you go. So we're going to grab. Plus, plus. Actually, hold up. Do I have. Let me go back a minute here. Yes. Continue. Okay. So grab. And then we want plus, plus. What? That didn't. There we go. Do I have to hold it for a second? It didn't seem to quite be working the way I wanted it to. Oh, I have to hover over it? Is that what we're doing? Yes, alright, that's what we're doing, and then... C. Alright, let's play. Grab, plus plus, spin. Okay, you gotta spin twice. And I'm also seeing that that just went one tick. So it's the length of the arm that determines how far. It's, it's turning one-eighth each time, but because the arm's longer, one-eighth is a longer... Actually, let, let me see. Is it possible... I, I want to know this right away. Is it possible to just insert something there? No. Or maybe it is, but I haven't seen it. It's not like that. So grab, plus plus, spin, spin. I have it release and then reset. Okay, that still works. But I, I don't think that release is necessary. Like, I think I can get rid of that release button. But we got it doing what it needs to do, so. 
cool and cool. I see. When you place an arm on the track, the arm can move forward and backward along the path. Tracks can be quite powerful, but I'm still learning how to use them effectively in my designs. Could you put mar multiple arms onto a single track? I think so. I never thought to try that. I will have to experiment later. Alright, cool. Three to go. Transmutation. This is the one I really need to know. Because this, uh, in the very first one, this is what confused me. To perform transmutations, we use glyphs. For example, say I want to calcify an element. You would place a glyph of calcification on the board and move the element you want to calcify over it. Not yes. I mean, yes, that's correct, but at least let me go through the explanation first. I got all the explanation I need. Bam. Use a piston arm and a glyph of calcification to turn the region, a fire atom, into the product, a salt atom, and move it to the output. So, this is interesting. I, I like what's happening here. Okay, so we're going to grab that. Throw that glyph in there. So now we will, as soon as I see, grab. No. Here. Because it's three long, it's going to go to here. All right, perfect. So there, and then rotate it to the right and then retract it, and then reset it, and go. Grab, spin, place, gra reset, grab, spin, place, beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, return to the menu. It's quite fast, this glyph. Yes, welcome to the modern engineering. alchemical engineering. Sorry. How many transmutations are available as glyphs? Most of the common ones so far, there's ongoing research to develop more which you would know about if you paid any attention to recent developments in your field. What do we got? Bonding. All right. This must be the glyph of bonding. To you, it is. To use it, actually, why don't you show me how it works? Seems that's the way things are going here. Very well, all right. So, use two arms and the glyph of bonding to bond the two salt atoms together and move them to the output. This could be a little tough, actually. I mean, generally. <laughs> Compared to anything else, no, probably not all that tough. But, actually, hold up. Why don't you just... Why don't you start over it? Okay, so... In both cases, we're going to grab. This one turns that way, that one turns this way. I'd like to just tell you to reset, but I don't know if you're going to... I don't, I don't want them to get out of sync if I do that. But yeah, should we grab, turn in, they bond. Oh, I did it, uh, I did it backwards. I meant, I did exactly what I meant to do, I just did it on the wrong arm. Grab, spin, that one releases. Oh, we actually have to add a pivot too, all right. No problem. Grab, bond, release, pivot, release, and drop. And then they go back and they start again. So I'm thinking once every piece is done, it'll re it, it resets. So you don't have to really worry too much about them getting out of sync. Because this fellow has seven instructions, whereas this one has four. But this one will just wait until the other guy is done before they continue on. Beautiful. The transmutation engine makes out kind of engineering far simpler. You could have been using it the whole time, but I'm glad I did things the hard way for so long. I hope you're not like this in real life, I know. Hmm, but this is real life. 
All right, last one, stabilized water. I think you, that's everything you need to know to use the transmutation engine effectively. I'll make one more product to make sure that I get it. All right, so from now on, you will place products and regents on your own. They are the top of your toolbox. So we need to complete that. And we have these. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, have, having to design everything does not make me super happy, if I'm being honest. I would much rather... I would much rather have them put the product where it needs to be, or, and even the fucking regions, too. I would much rather have those there, and I just need to figure out how to make it. But that's all right. I will figure it out. So we're going to, <laughs> all right. So we've got to pass this one over a glyph. And then also bond. So turn that. So you are going to Grab, spin, spin. Okay, let's see what that gets us. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's good. I I I'm pleased with that. All right, now I want a piston arm here. And the bonder here. And you are going to grab spin and then I think yeah we can actually delay that which is great and then I think spin back and retract would probably do what we want so grab spin bonded Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, it's an extension. Now you spin. <laughs> I'm making this so much more complicated than it needs to be. <laughs> this is okay, though. Honestly, you know what? This is going to work. So I'm going to do it. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is just stick a freaking arm right here. And you are going to grab that. Unless the arm... If the arms can't collide, then we've got problems. But it's not a huge problem. We'll figure it out. And so you're going to do that. You're going to turn once. And then you're going to pivot once. And then you're going to reset. So. Okay. Extend that by one. Release it right there. All right. Okay, that's space. Oh, that's space to do that one. But how do you want Okay, tab. Go step by step. No, I don't want you retracting. Why are you retracting there? Like I said, I know this isn't the best way to do this. Oh, because the retract, yeah, because I had the freaking retract button in there, that's why. Okay, so now, transmute, turn it, you release it, you reset, you pivot. Oh, you gotta pivot twice, you gotta pivot twice. And we're gonna have this thing. I mean, honestly, this is, 
This is definitely not the cleanest way to do this, but we solved the problem. And that's, that's, if you've watched my Infinite Factory playthrough, you, which you haven't actually, I'm going to have this uploaded before that, but if you do in the future watch my Infinite Factory playthrough, you will know that success is the only goal. You know, optimization is not my style at all. I mean, yes, I, I could definitely turn this down a lot, but we did succeed, and that is what we want. I wonder... Is this something I could do with a single arm? Probably not. But it is curious to think about. You know what? Just as a little bonus here, I'm going to give that a shot. So let me... I'm going to play this. Just let this be as it is. Return to menu, and then... So what are your plans as you graduate? I think I'll be head athletes for one of the August towns. So that's bold. Right out of school. Why not? True enough. No wish can be too great for you and yourself. I like it here. I think I'll stick around and hopefully become a professor. You do seem to have an infinity for teaching. Think so? Well then, may us... May each of us realize his opus magnum. Opus magnum. I always found that to be a rather pretentious term, but I agree with the sentiment at least. Why are you laughing? A Titus value? Find something pretentious? Tell me more. Alright, so... I want a new solution. Let's open this thing. And what I'm hoping for... Um... I just think this would be pretty cool if I could pull this off. It's to do this with one arm. So... Okay, hold up. Turn that around. Put the region here. And just extend by one if you don't mind. Alright. So, <laughs> the idea is to grab, retract, rotate, no, 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 not that, rotate, release, rotate, extend, Grab. Rotate back. Extend, extend. Reset. Let's see. Grabs it, pulls it in, turns it, releases it, spins, re extends, grabs, turns, extends. Oh, it can only extend that far? Oh, that's a damn shame. That is a... That is a shame, man. That is so close. Um... That is so close. It just... It can't extend three to... An extra, it can't extend that fourth time. Um... So let's remove that, let's add, let's add like a pivot to that. All right, let's try there. Oh, okay, uh, stop. Move that up. Grab. Boom, boom. Yes! Oh, fucking single arm solution! Look at me! Oh man, I feel so fucking awesome right now. 
Oh, that's why I like the Zachronics games. I, you, you get a solution. And you feel pretty fucking cool. I gotta, I gotta tell ya. Look at that. Look at that cost, man. Set that world record for cost. Woo! Alright. Cycle is what, you know, massive through the roof. It depends what you're looking for. I mean, you can get cost way down. 50 gold for that. But... your cycle count goes through the roof. So now you look for a low cycle count, and I think I might have had that with the three arms. And area's also pretty low. Apparently you can make the area a bit lower still, but I'm not gonna go for that. I'm gonna say thank you all for watching this episode. The prologue is complete, and we are now at chapter one, House Von Tossen, and we are going to progress through this. At this stage, uh, you're probably going to start seeing one or maybe two puzzles per episode. We're going to go a lot uh, slower through it, but prologue was all that easy, simple stuff. I figured we'd throw it all into one episode at 31 and a half minutes right now. I think that's a fair, a fair length for an episode, so don't expect chapter one to all be one episode, but I think it was appropriate to do for this one. And so thank you all for watching, and I will see you on the next one.